Hi everyone, Dr. Sue here. Welcome to part two of a three-part series on intro to sutures. In the first video, I broke down the components of a suture. If you need a refresher, please check out my first video. When you open a suture catalog, you will find an overwhelming amount of suture choices. Therefore, I will go through some of the more common types used in my practice. My choices may be unique to my perio practice as suture selection is closely tied to the types of surgeries one performs and clinician preference. The rule of thumb is to choose the smallest needle size and the smallest thread size needed for a particular procedure or wound. Let's quickly review the parts of a suture using a 4.0 chromic gut package as an example. This is a great suture that is widely applicable to many surgical situations. This is a 4.0 size thread that will absorb within about two weeks. The length of this thread is 27 inches or 70 centimeters. The needle is 19 millimeters in length, has a 3 8 curvature and has a reverse cutting surface. Most convenient part of the packaging of a suture is that the needle on the package is actually drawn to scale. You'll know exactly what needle size is inside without opening it first. I would recommend keeping things simple when possible. For example, all the suture needles that we have in our office are 3 8 curvature and are all reverse cutting. For larger thread sizes such as 3.0 and 4.0, the needle lengths are anywhere between 16 to 19 millimeter. And for the smaller thread sizes, 5.0 or 6.0, the needle lengths are between 11 to 13 millimeters. Which sutures to carry as your inventory will depend on the type of surgeries that you do in your office. Here are some examples and suggestions. If the majority of your surgeries are extractions where simple full thickness flaps are elevated, you would just need 3.0 or 4.0 plain gut sutures. However, if you plan to have only one type in the office, I would recommend carrying 4.0 chromic gut instead of plain gut. This will give you a wider application. If you are doing rich preservation procedures, I would upgrade the resorption time to the chromic gut suture or PGA rapid. Typically, 4.0 thread size will work for most places. When you choose PGA, choose the violet dye color as it is easier to see during suturing. If you were doing more complex bone grafting and ridge augmentation procedures where vertical incisions are used and uh, wound stability is a key factor in surgical success, I would recommend that you stock a 4.0 and 5.0 chromic gut, a 4.0 PGA, and a 4.0 cytoplast suture. In place of PGA, you can also choose to have a 4.0 monocryl. It is a good idea to have a non-absorbable option like the cytoplast in your armamentarium in case you need it. If you're doing soft tissue grafting procedures, this is in the realm of periodontal plastic surgeries, please choose small needle sizes and small thread sizes. My recommendations will be a 5.0 or a 6.0 chromic gut, monocryl, and or PGA. If you're doing microsurgeries, then you really don't need the advice of this video. I hope this video helps you with your decision when you next look at a suturing catalog. This will serve as a guideline, but ultimately you will choose what works best in your hands as you experience the various sutures. Be sure to check out part three of this video series where I will be demonstrating basic suturing techniques 
that will get you through many procedures. Happy suturing and thank you for listening.